The first part of this tutorial is to show you how to set up your media before you start creating segments. It's quite simple to do this. You obviously start with all the raw assets that you have. The artist may have kindly provided you with some X files and some textures for the room segment and some models and some textures for your door segment. And we'll get to look at these in more detail later. But first of all, we want to set these up in the folder structure. So we'll do the room first. We take our room models, which is a floor mesh, a wall mesh, and an exterior wall mesh, and copy these. We'll step back to the files folder. And because these are meshes, we want to put them in the mesh bank. User is the folder we have reserved for any customizable um, meshes and as you can see it's blank so we'll now create a folder structure that's going to make sense to us later on when we're navigating for these assets so we'll create a folder called rooms inside here a subfolder called my room inside here we'll control V to paste uh, meshes for the room so we'll step back to our raw assets and this time we'll select all our textures Control c copy those and then we put these into the folder structure under textures user again again the folder is blank so we shall create a folder structure much like if not identical to the one we already created so we can go rooms inside here room and then control V to paste that textures in. So that's all you need to do for the room assets. Now we'll do the same for the door but because these assets are going to go into three different folder structures to make it a little bit quicker for ourselves we'll do it this way. We create the folder structure once so the scenery folder and the subfolder to that we'll call doors and the subfolder to that we'll call my door. We step back out to the scenery folder and all these folders are obviously empty. Copy, Control C, go to the files and we're going to place a copy into the entity bank. Again we're going to user which is blank, Control V copies that and as you can see we have our nest of folders that we need. So we step back out to the main root area and then we go into mesh bank and user and control V to put the same directory structure in there and texture bank user the same directory structure in there. So we go back to our raw assets we find our raw assets, we don't need this anymore so we can delete it. The first thing we do is select our meshes, copy, control C, then we go into the file structure, go into mesh bank, user, scenery, doors, my door, paste. We go back to our raw assets and we select our textures, control C and we go into texture bank, user, scenery, doors, my door, control B to paste our textures there. And the last thing we do is go back to raw assets, door and we select the FPE file. Now the FPE file is created to tell the entity all the details it needs to know what it's supposed to do in the game. But the creation of this file I will leave to another tutorial. So we need to place that in Entity Bank, User, Scenery, Doors. But instead of putting it inside My Door, if we place it here, it will make more sense when you come to select this entity 
from the browser and eventually from the main software. So we don't need that directory, we can just delete it. And if you look inside, I've already prepared the paths which lead the entity to its model and to its texture. And also some sundry items like its shader, if you choose to use shaders, and its sound effects. And of course the AI script, but I'll leave that for another tutorial. So we we'll leave this. And we go back to the root folder. And now we've placed all our assets in the locations that the segment editor needs them to be in.